Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing the second mission of the Black Ops 6 campaign. So yeah, let's get into it. 9 o'clock, 9pm. Telephone call. Hello, Case. Check under the phone booth. But yeah, I did already do this, on, like, earlier today. But I accidentally reset the mission at the checkpoint, so I'm just doing it again. Yeah, that was a bit of a fad, honestly. Honestly, I'm ready. I think when I play through this live, I'm going to do a live playthrough of this, I'll definitely listen to like all the audio and stuff. Oh yeah, we'll go for a swim, screw it. Oh snap. Yeah, I've got this on the easiest difficulty just because I want to focus on the story. And also I just messed up the mission so I don't want to have to do it again. Yeah, I just want to see what the, the whole thing's about. But still though, I'm not going to run out. I am going to take my time. It'll just be a little bit easier though. Probably take a bit more damage. That one's reloaded. That has 80. Yeah, we'll take that one. The weight goes back a bit every time. Okay, compact. Duck a little bit. You're no good to me, dead case. Run after the went around here. Yo, why are you running away for, bro? Right. I know there's money down here from when I did it earlier. So That's good. And then I do have a good idea of where the safe house is as well. Not the safe house, the uh, elevator. Yeah, or ladder even. And then, yeah, because I did this earlier and I messed it up and accidentally reset my progress. I know what the target looks like, so yeah, we can just quickly speed through this. So it's a bit strange just speeding through this, but I mean, yeah. 150 meters away, oh my gosh. We are high up. I mean, we're nothing compared to like the skyscrapers, but still. Got your advance. My boys are still counting it. Let's just shoot there. That's like neck, so yeah, should be good. Oh my gosh. I shot him in the neck, but... Slide down. Okay. Now we've got escape here. Oh, it's a semi-auto, I just realised. 
I am slaying one with the semi auto right now. Don't know if I shot them there, but. I'm just sending it. Let's just go. Yeah, honestly, I do want to try to do this stealth, but it's just... I don't know. I think I'll try it once I play for it the second time and like properly pick up everything. There we go. Let me get in. Let me get in. And they expect me to take a bit longer, but yeah. There we go. Nice. That's Gabriel up there. He's cool. They called an emergency meeting at Chateau de la Haute Lune. Three guild leaders will be in attendance to smooth things over with Pantheon. Okay. I want to get paid, so we're going to crash that party. Chateau de la Haute Lune. Let's go. Yeah. So I remember this from when I played it earlier. I just, yeah, there was this like scene where you have to act really quick, but then I reset it before I even died, so the game just, ex I guess it sort of expected or thought that I was trying to go even further back. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to spoil anything yet, but I don't know how. An alarm will go off. Us both get away with this. It's just it's crazy, honestly. You'll have to see. So your best option that is mental. Is to surrender and play along. When you get inside, wait for my cue. So I don't know what she's actually doing. But um Just take all them. There's some intel. Let's have a closer look at that maybe when we next play through. Yeah, the second time I think I'm gonna try play for this campaign twice, like properly. On a harder difficulty and take more intel of everything. Man's just gone, okay. Oh, are they all just PP nine one nines? Okay. Let's go down here. We might have a bit of chance to. Oh my gosh. Reload, reload. Although this is semi-auto, it is actually good for just picking off targets, so... There you go. No should focus on specific enemies. But let's just uh, get them all out of the way. Oh snap. It is a bit unrealistic how you just regen in this game, but then also that does mean that I guess the way you play the game you have to wait to heal up and stuff. While I'm uh, healing up, I'm actually looking at the um, recording time. It's about 9 minutes in. Pretty good. Okay. Drop your weapons and put your hands on the glass. Yeah, that way. Oh, it's surrender, yeah. Oh, okay. That's what I mean. It's crazy, man. Stay quiet. Play along.
Wait for my signal, not before. Yeah, my signal, you, you can assume what she's going to do in this situation because these are some very high up people, I guess. Troublemaker. What's going on in there? We have a visitor. Walked right into the lion's den. Alone. Uninvited. Maybe this one works for a rival, huh? Or maybe Pantheon is trying to squeeze us. We came to you, Well. We learn the truth one way. And I get whacked. Let's not go. Go ahead. Well, look at that. You're a long way from home, Case. This man is extremely dangerous. Kill him immediately. I mean that though. Oh that catch was sick. Yeah, so this is what I mean. This is where I kept getting reset. You have to be You have to be so quick. It's like a quick draw. She got like a golden jacket on or something. Can I like pick up anything? Okay, I guess we just gotta go. It's the amount of bullets you save. We have guns though. Lock on. Let me pick it up. I need to use this gun more, unless I see this PP9 on my mind. I think I might max this out on zombies soon. The campaign has kind of inspired me to use it a bit more. And then I can use it in multiplayer once I've got like special cameras and stuff. That's what I tend to do. Okay. There might be a health upgrade. How much? Uh, out, I have 220. Eh. Oh, yes, please. Go this way, this way, smart, this way, smart. Stick to the sides. What on earth? That's a civilian. Okay. They, we have no reason to kill them. They are witness. They have valuable information. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that. Great. Oh, if I could go that way, I'd flank, but because they're crouching there, I'm assuming that there's an enemy around here somewhere. I'm pushing, you're just following me, bro. I'm like so close to being shot there, but just about wasn't. Oh, that's Sev. This isn't the moment, this isn't my moment. Get away. Thank you, I appreciate it. I appreciate the kind words. Is that the target? I mean, it hit him, but it didn't look like a great hit. But... I don't know who this target is we're chasing. I mean, this is the new bit of the campaign that I haven't done before, so... Probably should have just held out a knife or something, but... There's always going to be people out, so... Oh my gosh. Now I'm getting to cover, now I'm getting to cover. Confirm the death. Yeah, that is smart actually. They do look for it. Oh. That's rough, man. Is that it? That might be it. That was something, man. I can't even lie. My commentary is a bit odd with this mission because I've already done it. So I'm trying to act as if it... I'm trying to commentate as if I haven't seen stuff before, but then I accidentally reset, so... It's weird. So is she back at the safe house now? If there's a health upgrade, I'm getting that because I almost messed up there. 
That's the thing with the Call of Duty campaigns. Even though you play on the lowest difficulty to just experience the story, you still can't take advantage of the weak enemies. It ain't like FIFA where you can just like just walk past the pe the defenders and score. You can't run in front of like three of them. You're you're still gonna get destroyed. If you're not careful. As long as you like peek, shoot a couple, go back. That's that's good. Whereas like on the hardest difficulty, it's the complete opposite. You peek, you might not even fully kill one. But... Yeah. So we should return return to the safe house after this. There we go. Still haven't warmed up to that set As Marshall. Today. At least we didn't get killed in our sleep. And we're here. Let's go. I follow, I keep thinking that's a new mission. Um, yeah. I'll take a second. Like this scenery. Like, look at this. You've got the fog in the mountains. You got the the forest. All these different facilities around us. Um, all the different stories. You've got the shoreline. Is that like right against the? I think it is, because that's kind of dangerous having the like erosion and stuff in it. But depends how strong the rock is, I guess. I don't know. I paid I paid a bit of attention in geography, but not a crazy amount. Well, I did pay attention, but I remember a little bit. But yeah, looks like everyone's meeting in here. I'm not sure who that is. I think that's Sev. Oh, that's Felix. Oh, and that's. Marshall. That's Woods. So yeah, there we go. There is the second part of the campaign done. So next time we'll be on to part three. Every part is just a mission basically. So part three, mission three. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. But yeah, I'm actually enjoying this so far. I do like where this is at. I like how they just take the campaign and put it in multiplayer as well. So there's different ways to relate to it. So then if you only play like one part of the game, you're not missing out. But yeah, there we go. Hopefully you enjoyed... No, what's Woods doing? Just enjoying the view. Fair enough. It is a nice view, to be fair. I mean, you can't really see much that way. Looks like there's an island over there, but yeah. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.